Howdy ho, ladies and gents. We are back with another flavor breakdown. Today, we are breaking down, what are we breaking down, Kate? Teriyaki elk. elk. Ooh, we did that on time. <laughs> uh, guys, if you've never been into our shop or are just starting your exotic jerky venture, I uh, call elk, it's one of our core four. Our core four is gonna be venison, elk, uh, buffalo and wild boar. Those are the most common and widely accepted exotic jerky meats. Um, as far as the difference between venison and elk, there's not a whole bunch. We just learned today that elk is a leaner, meaner venison or deer, if you want to call it deer. Um, Bambi. Yeah, Bambi. Not, not a big difference. As far as taste goes though, um, let's just jump right into it. I can tell you right off the bat, Elk's not gonna be as gamey as venison. Not to say that venison is gamey, but this is gonna be a naturally sweeter, more flavorful meat. Um, I don't know if you saw what, what Kate showed you. This stuff just glistens with that teriyaki sauce. And me being the sweet tooth that I am, I love that. I love it, love it, love it. Why do I always end up eating before you do? Because you're hungry. All the time, I guess. <laughs> We've had so much food today, guys. We've had breakfast. We've shot another flavor breakdown video. And now we're doing this one. And, and then, then we're about, about to eat lunch. lunch. Um, yeah, we are filled right now. And I'm gonna get a snack after that. You know, uh, if you haven't noticed, this cutting board is not filled with jerky like it usually is. That's because our exotic bags of jerky come in two ounces, where our beef are three ounces. Um, basically, the reason why we do this, for one, it cuts down on the constant animal consumption that we are going through. We're saving more Bambies out there in the world. Also, it's just harder to get a hold of. And with it being more expensive, you know, obviously we put more jerky in there, it's gonna be harder on your wallet. So we, th we, we think two ounces is a pretty fair price and it's $9.99, so you can't go wrong with that. And it's a good snack, mm -hmm. which is kind of the point. Yeah, the exotic I, have a, I have a hard time finishing three ounces of, of jerky for the most part. If it's a drier jerky, I for sure can't do it because there's it, jerky's weight-based. So, I mean, with the drier jerky, you're just gonna have more jerky in there. With something wetter like this, I probably could finish a whole three ounce bag of this if I really set my mind to it. With definitely not people. today, yeah, definitely not today after all the eating we've been doing. But I mean, guys, right off the bat, this is super, super sweet and not a gamey aftertaste. Yeah, let's talk about that. So with jerky, you, that gaminess flavor doesn't really come across too much. Um, you can usually tell that it's a different animal besides beef, but- Very subtle. Yeah. But, but if you compare it to like wild boar, you eat wild boar, and granted, wild boar is awesome. It's naturally sweeter meat, but you can tell you're eating a wild boar. Yeah. As this, if I'm not really thinking about it, I think this is just a great teriyaki flavor. You know, the core four, as I call it, none of them are super gamey except for the wild boar. And consequently, the wild boar is also the toughest animal as far as texture goes. As soon as you start getting into different animals, the texture is gonna vary greatly depending on that animal. So the venison elk and the buffalo are very soft. Elk is super soft compared to venison. Whereas you get to the wild boar, the alligator, or a fish turkey, then things start getting real hard and what I call cowboy killer jerky, the stuff that you like really like break your teeth on. But yeah, this is, I mean. I would call this kind of like a medium texture. Five being a medium texture, I would put this at like a 4.5, yeah. 4.7. Um, it's very close to a medium texture, just slightly leaning towards that softer side. Well, first of all, if you want to try a different animal besides beef, branch out a little bit, kind of a sweeter flavor that's not just like super, super soft or Super, super tough. I mean, th this is a great choice. Mm -hmm. And for those people that are not a big teriyaki fan, I totally get where you're coming from. I feel like teriyaki is overdone on everything. This is not an overpowering teriyaki. Now mm -hmm. you definitely, you can tell that it's there, but it's not overpowering. It's not yeah, all no, you taste. Not at all. Basically you just get a little sweetness and that's it. And that's what the teriyaki is providing. Yeah. Uh, let's look at some of the nutrition facts because uh, this is pretty awesome. Sugar wise, yeah. it's three grams of sugar. Not a whole lot. It's high in protein, 13 grams. Sodium is 310, not super high. Still kind of under that 400 mark. Total fat is 1.5. Ingredients wise, uh, this is what I love about it. It's all really kind of easy to understand ingredients. You've got elk, teriyaki, soy sauce, wine, sugar, water, vinegar, salt, onion, um, garlic powder, brown sugar, honey, pineapple juice, water, 
liquid smoke, garlic, onion, and black pepper. That's pretty simple. I understand everything. Yeah, well, it, it, it's one of those things. I mean, it sucks when you go to look at the ingredients and then you have to go Google all of them because it's this you long. You actually Google all the ingredients? I that? personally don't, but there have been a couple that I'm like, ah, eh, that sounds sketch. I want to see what this is. And then usually it's like something stupid like water. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I never Google the ingredients. To be honest with you, I don't really look at the ingredients or anything. I just, if it's good, I eat it, which I mean, I kind of understand you know, why I've got this big belly here, but whatever, I'm happy. Don't judge. You guys, um, you know, you can't go wrong with this as as far as where i put it as far as my exotic my favorite exotic jerkies this is definitely top three for me uh, buffalo is my number one can't go wrong with buffalo i would put this kind of right on par with my hickory alligator or or teriyaki oak and i'll probably I, i'll probably i switch those around a lot depending on what mood i'm in if i want a nice savory flavor i'll move that hickory alligator up to spot two but if i want something sweet with the sweet tooth that i have which is normally all the time this is gonna go in second place for me. But as far as first place, I mean buffalo. Buffalo, hands down, it's the easiest thing to get into if you've never had exotic jerky. This elk is also great to get into. Any of the core four are what I recommend anybody to start out with if they've never had an exotic animal. Right. And it's elk. It sounds a lot cooler than what are you eating venison. Everybody's had venison. So when you come at your homie with, hey bro, I'm eating a bag of elk today. You want some? <laughs> shatters his mind makes you look cool man yeah i mean i like i think elk's my favorite like not super crazy exotic meat and then buffalo yeah so i mean it's in my top two well and like our our, our elk especially our teriyaki elk is one of what i call it the big bag on campus like that buffalo in our original like those are what we sell the most of. So if you're unsure, I mean, look at the reviews. Take everybody's word for it. This has been one of our top sellers since we've opened. You cannot go wrong with it. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you give this a try. If you hate it, send it to me and I'll eat it for you. It will not go to waste. Yeah, same. Um, no elks were harmed in the making of this video. Just so you guys would know, even though we're eating them and they sure are delicious. Elk Lord, we thank you for providing us your children. Yeah, and thank you to all the elks <laughs> out there for giving us sustenance. Guys, this has been our flavor breakdown of teriyaki elk. I hope you enjoy the flavor as much as I enjoyed it. If you like what you saw, make sure you add this bad boy to your cart. If you have any questions, make sure you chat one of our jerky gurus on our live chat option down below. We hope to hear from you. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Jerky.com out. Yeah. We did it. Yeah, same time.